Hello friends, this video on structural organization of animals part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we are going to talk about morphology and anatomy of animals. In our previous lesson we talked about plants. So now we will talk about animals because now we, we have detailed knowledge on animal cell. We have detailed knowledge on animal tissues. So now it will be easier for us to understand the functioning of the different parts of the body of an animal. So now when I say that we are going to talk about morphology and anatomy of animals, what all we will talk about in that? Because when you think of the variety of animals that we have, they are huge. We have small insects, we have microorganisms like bacteria, we have uh, aquatic animals like whales and sharks, octopus, crab. Again, we have uh, so, so many different animals like snakes, lizards, a huge variety, right? So what all to discuss and what not to? That is a big question here. You would remember while we were discussing about uh, the lesson on Animalia, where we discussed about the entire animal kingdom. You remember all the phyla which we talked about there? We talked about polyphores like sponges, cylindrates, platyhelminths, nematodes, annelids like earthworm, arthropods like the insects, mollusks, echinoderms, hemichordata and chordata. So th those were uh, the classifications there under animal kingdom. So it is practically not possible to talk about the morphology and anatomy of each and every animal. That is not at all feasible. But at the same time, it is also not possible that I, I tell you about the morphology and anatomy of a butterfly and then I say that okay, for all other animals it is going to be the same because it is not like that. When you compare a butterfly with a human being, there are many differences between the two. Okay, so what can be done about it? So now since we do not have that much of scope to talk about each and every animal individually. So we will pick up few animals which are very different from each other and we will talk about only those few animals so that if we have some understanding about those three four animals we will get a rough idea about how the morphology or how the anatomy would be in other animals. So who are, which are those lucky animals which we are going to discuss in detail right now. Let's have a look. So we will talk about three animals in this lesson. The first one is going to be earthworm, second one a cockroach and the third one a frog. Now you might ask why did I select these three animals? Why didn't I select human being? Well if you talk about human being, we have already discussed uh, the anatomy and morphology of human beings in class 10th. We all know about, when I say anatomy, I am talking about the internal structure. You all know the internal body structure of human beings. We have spoken about the digestive system, excretory system, respiratory system. All the life processes have been discussed in your class 10th syllabus. So we all know human beings already. Now talking about other animals, now these three animals, if you see, they are three different varieties. One is an insect, the other one is a worm and the third one is a vertebrate. So they are all three different categories. So once you know about three of them, all other phylum which fall under animal kingdom, you can at least have some basic idea that okay, since this animal, because you'll get an idea that as the animal belongs to a higher phyla, the more complex the things are, correct? So once you are done with these animals, you'll get some idea about how it could be in other animals as well. So keeping in mind the evolutionary trend that we all know what is evolution from our basic knowledge of class 10th, that looking at one animal, you can say that, okay, these higher animals have come from this animal. So they will also have some similarities with that basic animal. So looking at that evolutionary trend, we chose these three animals. And now we are going to talk about each of them in detail. So we will start our discussion with earthworm. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, 
find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.